Hello, this is DJ with Dacasource, again coming with 10 more items that I've sold on eBay. And these items are from uh, about a month ago, uh, or a couple months ago, and I'm just now going back and um, showing what I sold. And so the first item I have this week is this Eton shirt. Anytime I see the brand Eton I know it's going to make some money. I paid $7.50 for this shirt. It sold for $28, so I took a best offer. Uh, you can see that it was listed for $34.99. And I made $14.98 profit after everything was said and done. And so you can see it was just a nice orange, burnt orange uh, checks. Um, dress shirt really nice and it sold really fast the next item here is um, a filter and I, I believe this is for like a refrigerator or something this is a replacement cartridge and I bought these at a garage sale um, for about five dollars each that's five dollars Canadian so um, I ended up selling all four at one time and so the cost was approximately fourteen dollars and eighty eight cents um, they sold for a hundred dollars and they made about eighty dollars profit eighty dollars and fifty four cents profit um, not much to this but uh, look out for water filters water filters always do well I found some um, uh, what's that brand that that's a network marketing um, I can't remember but um, these water filters always do well and so keep a lookout for these water filters next item I have is just a bread and butter item that I usually sell it's a Sony a portable CD player um, nothing too uh, complicated about this one I do keep a lookout for these adapters uh, I can usually get these adapters for a dollar or two and it always adds value when um, you sell them with the CD players and so again nothing too um, major on this uh, bought this for a dollar 48 at a garage sale sold it for thirty dollars and I made twenty three dollars and eighty eight cents profit and you can see that I list uh, these items CD players and things like that a little bit higher and I always take a, a good best offer so I'll take five dollars off or depending on how long I've had the item these always sell well for me, these Trackman Marble um, uh, Trackball Mouse. Um, this is a, an older one, but uh, I had it listed for $79.99. I had it listed for a while. I ended up taking a best offer of $50. I paid $5 for this item at a garage sale and made $37 profit. Uh, nothing too complicated there. It's an older Trackball Mouse. Keep a lookout for those. G Star Raw Jeans. Um, these are always easy to pick out in the jeans aisle because the denim just feels different. It has it's shiny. It's um, raw denim, that's what they they call it, and and, um, and it just really stands out. Uh, I bought these G Star jeans for nine dollars and sixty one cents. It sold for eighty dollars, and I made fifty five dollars profit found this at a local thrift store and um, they even had it priced uh, relatively high for this brand so um, keep a lookout for G Star Raw this is a squash racket uh, these tend to sell well for me I think I've sold most of these here in Canada uh, squash seems to be a little bit more popular up here in Canada than in, in the States um, I'm a racquetball player myself, and I bought a set of probably like nine brand new uh, squash rackets, and um, I, I can pretty much guarantee this is a brand new racket that has been professionally restrung. All the rackets were restrung. Um, this was probably a demo racket. I mean, it was in really great condition, and I went to the thrift store. I saw them there. 
and I looked them up on my um, eBay app saw that they sold for over hundred and fifty dollars brand new and so I picked these up um, I sold it ended up selling for fifty five dollars and I can't prove this is a new one because there's no it doesn't have the tags uh, there's some that had the tag uh, there's some that had like the original wrapping but this one didn't so I sold it as used for eighty nine or I had it listed for eighty nine dollars I took a, a best offer of fifty five dollars just to get rid of it and made thirty two dollars profit the next item here is again another Sony Walkman it's the same um, model as the one earlier except this is pink I bought this at a pretty sure at a garage sale um, I'm trying to find my price here um, for seven dollars and fifty cents it um, sold for thirty dollars Again, took a best offer and made thirteen dollars and sixty cents profit these are easy to ship uh, easy to find and so these are just bread and butter items for me another Liberty of London arts fabric shirt I think um, a couple days ago I looked up how many of these I've sold I've sold about 14 or 15 of these in the last probably uh, since the beginning of the year and they always uh, net me some really great profit and uh, this is probably the third or fourth time I've sold this particular color and, and style. And the, this shirt uh, I bought for $6. It sold for $39.99 and made $27.28 profit. And I have to thank my wife for finding this brand. Um, they're floral designs, so they're real easy to find as you're going through the women's blouses. I don't go blouse to blouse. I just look, I go down the aisle for these particular shirts. This is a Sony camcorder that I sold. This was a personal item of mine. Um, I had it listed for $199, which was pretty high, I think. Uh, took a best offer of $130, made $87, uh, sorry, $130, so it was all profit. This is a DCR SR300. The next item and the final item for today are these Vogue uh, glasses. Uh, I have to shout out to Dorky Thrifters for getting me on glasses. Um, I saw these at a thrift store for $7.46. Looked them up online, saw how high they were selling for. Uh, they did sell for the full asking price of $39.99. So I made about $28 profit. So, um, again, thank you, Dorky Thrifters, for your videos on glasses. And that's all I have for this week. Uh, thanks for, for watching.